Hello family, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Angela here on this channel. I create beauty, fashion, and lifestyle content, and particularly for the woman over 40. Now, as most of you know, I try my best to read as many comments as I can, and I try to respond to as many comments as I can. And as I was reading over the last week or two, I noticed that several of you, not more than several actually, are leaving comments stating you're having difficulty putting together some autumn or fall outfits. So today's video is all about that. So if you're struggling trying to figure out are the pieces, are these pieces in my wardrobe modern? Are they fresh? Are they dated? Are they outdated? If so, I don't know how to put them together. Uh, maybe hopefully this video will help a little bit. I have four categories of items that you can maybe try this instead of try that. Um, so that's what this video is all about. Try this instead of try that. If you like to see the four categories I'm talking about and some of the pieces that I've secured and then stay tuned now let's get started okay before i get started this is my outfit of the day the frames are very recent purchase from amazon i have these when i tell you i probably have six pair Look at them with the yellow. This is so pretty. I love sunglasses that I don't have to take off once I get out of the car. So they come in black frames, brown frames and tortoise frames with the different uh, color lenses. They're under $15 worth every penny. This top is a new purchase. Well, I don't know. I bought this several months ago. Actually, I just, just started wearing it. So I bought it while it was hot because I kept seeing a lot of the girls with it on. I'm like, that is really cute. Now, I'm sure most of you don't want to wear it like this, but this will look beautiful with a black lace cami under it. So it comes in this black, it comes in an off-white, a Merlot, which I'm gonna order today before the video comes out so y'all don't buy them out. White, black, Merlot, a brown, and off-white, a beige, and a striped. I don't like the striped one, but this is so cute, it gives some waist, but also that's nice and roomy all the way across the back. It's not fitted at all. So I love, love the silhouette of this. Makes me like I got some hips, I don't. And these are the barrel jeans. I've had these some since sometime this year I purchased them. I know for sure they're sold out, but you get barrel jeans anywhere. And on my foot are these little cute little cheetah print kitten heels from Zara. This is what they look like. They are very, very comfortable. I wish they sold them in another color because I would purchase them in another color. Has a nice, cute little almond toe. And of course, cheetah print is in, so that's indeed why I would purchase them because of the comfort and can't beat that. So, oh, and the earrings. The earrings are from Shop Koi. They sold, they sold out already. This was from her very recent drop and the belt is Celine and that is it. So let's get started with the video. Okay, so the first thing you can do if you're having difficulty trying to figure out what to wear, trying to put to the... Okay, so the first thing we can do if you're trying to put some looks together and you just cannot figure out what to wear, but you wanna just mix things up a little bit, is switch from wearing high heel shoes to wearing flats. Now, I know a lot of you do not wear heels at all, but you know, kitten heels have been in a lot this year. I'm talking about straight flats. Now, if you're like me, you struggle. I struggle wearing flats. I do do like the kitten heels. I have graduated where I can do a kitten heel without falling. I used to put kitten heels on and I would start tripping because I'm so used to three and a half to a four inch heels. But this year and end of last year, flats have been trending. There are so many beautiful flats. Now, we're not talking about the round toe Tory Burch flats. No, we're not talking about the ballet flats with the round toe. Nope, no, because those kind of stump, stump your foot, make your foot look shorter instead of longer and nice and sleek. I'm talking about the new wave flat. The new wave flats are either pointed or some of them have a square toe or some of them have a pointed, but like a coffin, you know, the coffin nails that are long, instead of being pointed, the point is cut off. So they are long in the front, but they have a, a cut off, like a little square instead of a big square on them. 
and they come in so many different colors. They're just beautiful. They're the new wave ballet flat. So I found some that are red, that are really beautiful. I also found some black ones with some grommets and I think they come in multiple colors. That can be worn with an outfit. You can switch up your accessories. Like if it has silver grommets, you can do silver accessories. And now the purses with the uh, silver studding on them are really popular. So you can pull that look together and create that sort of look. Also the new flats, some of the new flats have are a sling black, sling black. Some of the new flats have are sling backs. I have a pair, let's see, here they are, here are mine. Can you see, whoop, move back, okay. So here's my, my sling back, my, they're pointed toe with the little cute little design on the top and have the sling that they keeps my foot in. They're still flat, so they're gonna be very, very comfortable. Again, I struggle with wearing complete flat shoes, unless they're sandals. I do have a lot of flat sandals, but most of the time I like a, a cute flat. So I have those. I also have the ballet flat with the new square toe, not just the round toe anymore, because those, those are pretty much dated right now. So I have these, I purchased them from Madewell. They have the little strap here, so the elastic, so they're kind of like a Mary Jane. And you can see the toe, move over so you can see. See the toe, it's not round, it's not complete square, but that's a nice, cute square. And I got them in this beautiful chocolate brown because I'm chocolate brown. <laughs> So I can wear that shoe with any combination of colors and it's just gonna look like a nude shoe. It's just gonna make my legs look a little bit longer even though it's still a flat. So I do have some flats. Now you can also, if you wanna create some interest in your outfit, you don't have to just go with a solid color. I found some zebra print loafers. I think these are really, really cute. I also saw some penny loafers. Do y'all remember penny loafers? I had penny loafers and actually had a penny in my penny loafers. I really, really remember that. And so I thought those are really cute as well. And I found some flats with some multiple colors and textures so you can create fun, creative looks. So you don't have to just go with a drab, regular black or, or neutral flat. You can, you can play with colors, you can play with texture, you can play with design. So you can keep an interesting look. So that's one way that you can create an outfit that's not just blah or bland, it has dull fall colors. You can, you can add some color, you can add some texture, you can add some print to your outfit with your shoe and, and make sure everything else is neutral if that's what you like. But just play with your shoes. If you're scared to play with print, that's a perfect way to do it. So the next thing that you can do, and this is uh, this is trending, don't, don't blame me, it's not me. I didn't create the trend, I'm just telling you about the trend. So right now, um, shoulder bags and large hobo bags are trending. And I have several, I'm looking at, I'll, I'll show you what mine look like, but they are really trending. So you can, I'm sure if you think, if you dig deep, deep, deep back in your closet, you will be able to find a hobo bag that you've had or hobo bags from the 60s. I wasn't born yet. I'm sure most of you were not born yet either. And if you were, it's okay. Um, I tend to keep a lot of my purses. I can't, I'm not one of those that's gonna be selling purses, but so I have purses that are vintage now that I love. But a hobo bag is everything from the 60s and 70s. I found a beautiful, beautiful brown suede hobo bag and the brown suede shoulder bag. I love brown, brown is trending. You can take that bag and you can put it with some cream or some off-white or different shades of brown or different shades of black and create some fun, neutral looks, but still interesting all at the same time. Um, I also found some bucket bags. I love myself a bucket bag. My summer bucket bag is, I've put that up already. Um, so I've, I think that is really, really pretty. And also if you don't like the, the large shoulder bags, totes are in as well. Now, if you look up here, let's see right there, that's the Fendi tote, other way. <laughs> that's a raffia tote. What's beside that? Oh, that's that's the Louis Vuitton bag. And on the very other end, I have a Dior tote and I have a, um, what is that? A, it's called The Tote by Marc Jacobs. So I love myself a tote because you know, over here we like a good pocketbook. I need to have some, <laughs> I need to have some room for my peppermint and my butterscotch candies in my pocketbook says I the diabetic. But I always keep a little piece of candy for the kids or for myself when my blood sugar drops. And, or you know, if you just wanna refresh your mouth, I always gotta have room for my stuff. Then I have grandkids, I need to have Band-Aids and little uh, 
perfume samplers in there. I have a little bit of everything in my purse. So I love, love myself a tote, especially when I'm traveling. So if you're trying to put together some new looks, totes are definitely in and you can get them everywhere. They have this new design. It's called the East to West tote, and which means they're just longer. They're more horizontal. Instead of just a square tote, they're a little, a little bit longer and not quite so deep. I think those are pretty. One of, the, one of my favorite is from Fer Ferragamo. I saw that there, it's beautiful. But I also, while I was looking, I found this camo. Now, y'all know I love me a camo anything. My favorite pair of pants are my <laughs> BDUs, my camo pants. I love those. So I found this really, really pretty camo tote. They, the brand has it in other colors, but I love the camo tote and all the stuff from this brand. You can put it in the washer and you can wash it. So if your purse or your shoes or your totes get dirty, you can wash them. So I think that is a great deal. That is for me, that's worth the extra corn that they cost. They're not super expensive. I think for the price the tote is beautiful and it has feet on the bottom so you don't have to worry about the bottom getting worn off so i like that a lot um i also found a really really pretty leather um tote shoulder bag with some stitching detail so that extra detail just really elevates your look instead of just having a plain solid leather which is always beautiful the stitching detail adds a little extra it's a little more um relaxed Fit. It's not so dressy, it's a little more casual, but I still love it nonetheless. The next thing you can do, which is definitely a trendy thing to do, is instead of wearing pink, because pink was so on trend for two straight, maybe two and a half straight years, this color pink right here, that bright pink, Barbie pink is what they call it, is, it is uh, the trend is so, Merlot has surpassed. Merlot is going up like this. Merlot and red, well red has been here. Merlot just, you know, hit with fall, but the pink is not trending anymore. So you can add some Merlot pieces to your wardrobe. You can do that with shoes. You can do it with coats. You can do that in so many different ways. Um, I found a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Merlot scarf. I also found a beautiful, and I tell you, this red scarf is on my Christmas list. I already sent the email out, not the email, I sent a text message, a group text message to the whole family about Christmas. Everybody needs to send their, their wishes on in. I put, I'm putting this red scarf, is on my Christmas wish list. As a matter of fact, I'm probably gonna purchase it. You're probably not gonna put it on the list because I know this scarf is gonna get sold out. Imagine this scarf with a cream outfit or even a brown outfit and have this scarf wrapped around your neck with all that fringe detail. It is a beautiful, beautiful blue red and I love this color red. I think it is stunning. You can also try red or Merlot with your outerwear. You can pull it together with a coat. You can pull it together with a jacket. There's just so many ways you can do this or you can add like clothing you can do skirts you can do blazers you can do sweaters there's so many ways that you can pull in red in your looks you can do jewelry you can do nail polish <laughs> oh you can do lipstick in your looks to create a fun and trending but yet modern and fresh look so especially for fall merlot is usually very very popular during the fall season but now it's trending as if it were supposed to be here anyway, but it is trending and there's so many places you can find really cute. I found a really cute bag on Amazon that is Merlot. I'll leave a link to that. I have several bags. I do have one bag that is, um, it's a Louis Vuitton bag and it's probably dated right now, but I'm keeping it. I'm just a patent leather Merlot bag that I'm not going to wear. Maybe I can wear it under my arm though, instead of just, it's a doctor bag. Let me show it to you. Hold on. Oh, y'all can't see me climbing on this chair. I don't know how long I've had this bag. Here she is. And I bought this, I don't know how long ago. I bought it secondhand. And so now, instead of carrying it by the handles though, if I carry it under my arm, which is the way it, the, the girlies, the new girlies are carrying their purses, that is cute. I may do that. I just may do that. So there again, there are so many different ways that you can add red or Merlot into your wardrobe. If you don't like that bright color, cause red is bold. It's bold, it says, I'm here, look at me. I'm, 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 I'm about that life, <laughs> kind of sort of. <laughs> um, that I have a lot of energy, it's a, lot of, it's, a, it's a very energetic color. 
unlike Merlot, which is a very warm, very demure, very inviting color. It's just smooth and laid back. Um, so you can do either and you can wear those two colors together. So you have, if you have some Merlot or Burgundy in your wardrobe and you have some red, try playing with those two colors together because Merlot is just, um, or Burgundy is red with a, with some black in it. So it's just deepening the red. So those colors look beautiful together. So try that as well if you don't wanna do any of the colors individually. So the next thing you can do if you're having difficulty putting together some fall looks is instead of wearing a very fitted blazer, like very fitted blazer that came with a suit or you bought it a long time ago, try looking for a, a slightly oversized blazer. If you don't want to purchase one or you don't want to pay full price, you can definitely go to a thrift store, go to the men's section and find one that is slightly oversized and put it in the cleaner. So you've reduced the price significantly of that purchase. Try a slightly oversized blazer, try a cropped cardigan or try a lady jacket or you can try a crop blazer all four of those are trending right now so you can find them everywhere at different price points and they look really really cute now i found a beautiful brushed cashmere oh it's so beautiful cardigan i think it is gorgeous and you can also get those in like merlot you can get them in texture where they have like a faux fur texture or you can do cardigan or wool those are really beautiful um you can do uh, again, a slightly oversized blazer. I found one that is really, really cute for the plus size or the curvy ladies because they need to look cute as well. Absolutely. And I love lady jackets. I have several of them in my wardrobe and they just look so cute. So if you want to go out shopping and you want to have a little more, you don't want to just wear jeans and a t-shirt and a jacket or a blazer may be a little bit dressed, so you can do jeans and sneakers and a lady jacket. I think that is a gorgeous, fun, fun look. This says, I dress with a lot of intention today. I'm still, uh, I'm still a little elevated, but I'm confident because I have my jeans and my sneakers on. And you can find the lady jackets in so many different colors. My favorite right now is a, a red lady jacket or a black with the gold buttons. I think those are beautiful. Or you can do a cream if you like that cream look. I wouldn't necessarily probably cream will probably be the last color that i would purchase i'm y'all know i'm going with black yeah they'll go with black first and then i would go with a red i think that is just a beautiful color but i found um a beautiful lady jacket in five different colors from a size extra small to a 2xl and i just think they're beautiful i found them in so many different places so i'll see if i can put some up from the several different websites and just try that look out as well well that's it family i really hope you enjoyed the video don't forget, I'll leave links to all the pieces in the description box below the video. He hear me, hear me again. Um, if you're looking for pieces that I was talking about in the video, there is a link and I've tried to make them make certain I was very descriptive about each one in the description box. You touch on the link beside it or the, little, the words, the numbers or letters beside it and it'll take you directly to the store where you can purchase. Yeah, that's it. So it'll take you directly to the store where you can purchase. Now, thank you so much for watching me. I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you have the most amazing, blessed day and a great, great week. Bye-bye.